I released a video a couple days ago about CLR. A lot of you guys have commented about how it's not a very good idea to use CLR, okay? Unless you're using stainless steel barrels, then it doesn't matter because uh, carbon barrels with, made with carbon steel have carbon in them. <laughs> so anyway, the point is that's one way, okay? Um, obviously, if you guys have been following my channel for any length of time, you will know that I'm going to tell you what I have found, but I'm also going to tell you go test it for yourself, okay? So, if you are not comfortable with CLR, which it's very simple to test, right? Put it in a, in a cup, put whatever you're going to test, put a small sample in there and try it out. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, look for an alternative which there are many, okay? Today we're gonna discuss a few. We have, obviously, CLR, which we already discussed, but I have also used carb out. This is really good stuff okay uh, you know you can you can test this to see if it works uh, it will work okay so this stuff is made for that and it's by uh, sharpshooter precision products so you can get some of this okay you can also get some of this okay Bortec makes a carbon remover this is c4 there are a ton of companies out there making products to remove carbon by the way if you have been paying attention about your barrels for any length of time, you will know that carbon is the biggest thing that's going to get uh, you barrel fouled and it's going to cause you issues, right? You've heard of the carbon ring, right? Well, uh, that's why. It just builds up, right? However, don't take my word for it, okay? This is, I hear this a lot. Well, they said, I get a lot of comments or a lot of questions. Hey Eric, uh, what should I clean my barrels with? They said this works great. They said to try this. They said this wouldn't work. They said this would hurt my barrel. <sighs> Take the day with a grain of salt. Listen to everyone, but only for the purpose of weeding out the BS <laughs> and finding the truth, okay? The truth is whatever works for you. All right, unless you're next sizing, then that doesn't work for anybody. <laughs> ah, sorry, I had to sneak that one in there. But anyway, uh, so how do you know if it works for you? Like all these carbon cleaners that I just showed you, they all work, okay? They all work. It's just, for example, CLR for me works amazingly well because one, it's cheap. Number two, I can pour in a cup, dunk uh, my muscle brake in there, and an hour or two later, rinse it off and I'm good to go, right? However, uh, for barrel cleaning, that's a whole different uh, discussion, right? Uh, I use CLR, but I have also used all these other products. What works best is going to be determined by you, okay? How do you know what works best? Well, you're going to have to get a bore scope. The bore scope is going to really be the one to tell you what works for you and what works best, okay? Uh, I can give you a list of 20 different carbon cleaners, but unless you try it for yourself on your barrel with your cleaning regimen, then you're really not going to know what works best. Here Again, the bottom line is they all work, okay? What works best for you is up to you to figure out, right? So, uh, I just put out a... a, a, a a, a video on patreon that I did where I spent like three days cleaning a barrel and I would do one thing you know I would look in there with a the bore scope then I would clean then I go back with the bore scope and depending on what it looked like after the cleaning for example uh, the first thing I always do is I go after carbon that's number one thing that I always do okay after I'm I go after the carbon I look in there with a the bore scope if there's still a lot of carbon there, guess what? I keep going after the carbon, right? Uh, 
once the uh, copper is exposed, then I go after copper, right? After I clean that out, I go back in there. Oh, look, more carbon. Okay, well then let's go back to carbon. Uh, you know what, I can't get rid of the carbon anymore. Okay, well let's use an abrasive, you know? So the point is you are going blind if you don't have a bore scope, okay? Nowadays, there's no reason for you not to have a bore scope, okay? Um, I use this test long bore scope and I mean the one I was using is this one which has a which has a screen okay you have the bore scope you have a screen you can actually take pictures you can record uh, it also has a microphone which is extremely handy because it allows you to as you're doing it you can talk you can you can you know talk about what you're seeing and you know this will s help you down the road just to replay this video for yourself or maybe play it for somebody else that you're trying to help okay so extremely extremely helpful and i mean this bore scope is like 125 bucks so no excuse for you not to have one okay um i think that's i mean i have a hawkeye which is close to a thousand dollars and i have that bore scope okay you don't believe me i'll show you <laughs> It's just, that's how important bore scopes are. Right here, okay? This is my Hawkeye bore scope, okay? Uh, I've had a bore scope for years and years, okay? Because like I said, if you don't go in there after you clean and look in there, you don't know. You don't know if you actually cleaned. You don't know if that uh, solvent that you are using is working, I mean, like I said, they all work. It's just they work at different rates, okay? Uh, so, you know, sometimes you may have to run a brush in there. Uh, abrasives, I mean, you just don't know unless you have a bore scope. So I'm gonna put a link in the description for the bore scope that I was using. And uh, like I said, 125 bucks. And they have, Test Long has a lot of different ones. And I mean, the video quality was, for, for me, it was incredible. I mean, it, it, you can see exactly what's going on in there. As I've been talking, I've been showing you guys some images that I that I took or video that I took uh, uh, with that bore scope. And as you can see, you know, it shows you exactly the progress that you're making. So, all right. So the whole point of this video is, does CLR suck? It depends. Does uh, carb out suck? It depends. They, like I said, I don't think that any of them suck, right? Um, it's just, does it work for you? You know, like I said, they're all gonna work. It's just how fast are you trying to clean these barrels? The other thing is, you may not need any of these carbon cleaners, right? Because I use a patch out and accelerator. Both of these will go after carbon as well, right? They just take longer. And that's why I prefer to go after the carbon first. Immediately, that's the first thing I do. And uh, like I said, if you have a bore scope, it'll be crystal clear as to what you need to do first and what you need to do next, okay? Uh, a lot of you guys keep asking me for my cleaning process, my cleaning regimen. I don't have one. I don't have a step-by-step -step because I use a bore scope to decide what my next step is going to be. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Uh, you just can't go at this thing blind. Uh, because even on, on one barrel, just because it works, let's say, for example, I do one procedure, the barrel has 200 rounds through, I do one procedure, and it worked amazingly well. Well, I can't use the same procedure when the barrel has 1,400 rounds through it. It's just not going to be the same, okay? So get a bore scope, and uh, that's all I can tell you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be an eye-opening experience once you start cleaning and using a bore scope, okay? All right, uh, anything else, let me know. Hit me up in the comments, give us some likes, and I will see you guys next time. I hope all your groups are one whole. See ya.